Absolutely not. From a slightly shorter spotted creature to our really tall spotted creature, we have a lovely surprise from you, in, for you in the form of this lovely lady giraffe. Now, for those of you that have just joined, my name is Jamie, and you are on a live safari, seeing some truly amazing things from that leopard to the hippo that we were with earlier, and now a very special little creature. And you might be wondering, why am I saying little creature if we're looking at a massive giraffe? We'll just have a look to the right of her. There is a tiny little giraffe next to her. So she's got a baby. It's just over a month old, would be my guess. It started to nibble on leaves, so it might even be a little bit older than that. It might be closer to three months, but I don't think so. I think it's just nibbling leaves because it's trying out what mom is doing. Isn't it adorable? Wait till you see it next to the mother. It is absolutely minute. We're going to try and shift a little bit closer to her in a second so that we can give you a better view of this baby giraffe. And you can have a chance to see how tiny it is in comparison there. It's coming through in the background, just behind the bush. It's gone up to mom again, affectionately rubbing up against her. Come, let's go. Let's try and go forward a bit and then perhaps we'll have a chance to get a better view. But what I'm gonna do is I'm just starting my vehicle and I'm letting the engine run for just a little bit, just so that they don't have the starting of the engine and then all of a sudden movement as well combined with that noise. And in that way, you can make sure that we don't have a major impact on these animals at all. And we don't scare them in any way. It's important to remember that we live here in their home, not the other way around. And so we're always very, very careful about the impact that we have. So I'm watching her carefully, making sure that they feel comfortable. This little one, hello. Look at you. Aren't you absolutely adorable? Our baby giraffe are always so terribly disproportionate. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, Zachary, you sent through your question. Oh, mom, wait, mom. Oh, wait, mom. I've suddenly realized how far away mom is. <laughs> wait for me. Don't leave me. Zachary, you want to know how much a baby giraffe weighs? <laughs> Zachary, about, they're born at just under 200 pounds and they will obviously continue to grow from there. The funny thing about giraffe being born is that they have a two meter drop. A two meter drop, the female does not lie down to give birth, she stays standing and the little one faces its very first introduction to the world in the form of falling down all that way. So two meters, six feet. There goes mom. Her baby's going to follow behind her soon. There she is, standing still and statuesque. I don't want to move. I don't want to startle them in any way. I'll just wait and see. Baby's going to start making its way towards her. What are you looking out for? Our giraffe are one of our most fascinating creatures, and I find that they tend to start looking weirder the longer that they look. Now, they are an animal that perhaps doesn't receive as much. Here it comes, mommy. Wait for me, mommy. There we go, hello. Yes. It's one of the creatures that doesn't receive as much attention as, say, lions or elephants or rhino, but it is a creature that's facing what's been termed a silent extinction. Mark, you want to know why giraffe numbers are going down? The biggest reason, Mike, sorry, Mike, you want to know why it is that giraffe numbers are plummeting. The biggest answer is, of course, loss of habitat, as well as a poaching for not just medicinal use, but for bushmeat as well. Uh, they in, especially in parts of Africa, sort of to the north of us, where there is civil uprest or social upheaval, you'll find that animals immediately become the victims as well as the human beings. And that's one of the big reasons. Fortunately for us in the reserve that we're in now, every animal that you see here is protected. These are probably among some of the safest animals in Africa. Everything out here is kept perfectly safe, or at least given the best possible protection from poaching. Here she goes, striding off. And it's not uncommon to find that the female giraffe actually get quite far away from their calves. It seems to be a quite a comfortable distance between... 
I'm going to uh, stick with these giraffe to get a good view of that little one. But while we do that, it seems as though Steph 